thank you for tuning in on May TV on your regular program, Your Opinion. What do I have to say today? All right, my friends are not here. I'm here alone. I have to talk to you today. And as usual, I will also want to have your opinion. So what do I have for you today? I have a question for you. And it's a question you've been struggling with. You don't even know how you want to be loved. And then you don't even realize when somebody is expressing love to you, how do you want to be loved? Oh, this is a question I want to help you to answer today. All right, more when I come back. Thank you. All right, thank you for staying tuned. My name is Lovely Kerry. Please, I want you to subscribe to this channel so that we can be family. I want to always have you on my channel. Thank you once again for your subscription. But if you are just joining for the first time, you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please just subscribe right now and i will also like to have your comments after this video you have the comment section there just keep it coming keep it coming all right without wasting of so much time i want to deal with this question today how do you want to be loved how do you want to be loved right love is a feeling of affection love is a strong feeling of affection and modern in the modern days a lot even say that there is no love say there is no love like we used to have in the days of our fathers the way they express true and unconditional love to themselves many of the opinion that love doesn't exist well Maybe the language of love has changed. The landscape of modern relationship is complex. There is no silver bullet to it. You just have to work it out. Someone has been showing you love. It's just that you don't understand. Sometimes the way we express our love languages are quite different. The way we express love based on our background is different. Some people express their love languages differently. And when their love is not reciprocated, they feel heartbroken. And on you know, the other way around, you may feel you need to be loved a certain way, and the other person doesn't understand it that way. Then there, the, it will cause a kind of uh, separation, a kind of uh, uh, psychological disconnect between both parties. So right now, I want to talk more about love languages. Of course, Gary Chapman in his book, uh, itemized five love languages. But because of the complexity of our modern day life, I've been able to add three more and to what Gary Chapman has done. Of course, it's the same thing, but these things are being modified because of the complexity of a modern day life. So ride on with me and let's talk about love language. I want you to discover yourself and the way you want to be loved. First is activity. Okay, I want to see yourself in this light. Are you this kind of person who when someone is interested in your hobbies, you feel love? There is a feeling that it's, they, this this gesture seems to open up your heart. You feel loved when someone shows interest in your hobbies. Maybe you are the one who likes to go fishing. You are the one who likes to play tennis. Then somebody, somebody decides to identify with you, ask you, ask you questions about it. 
maybe you are someone who likes football, then the other person sits patiently with you. He may not even like it, or she may not, but sits with you to enjoy the football game with you. Of course, if your heart is open and you feel love, of course, you have identified your love language that is how you want to be loved you want somebody to be identified with your hobbies with what you do all right is that taken so what activity what what are your hobbies what are your hobbies maybe you've not considered that if someone comes to identify with your hobby you feel love is that all right number two appreciation or words of affirmation are uh, is your love provoked when somebody tells you gives you compliments of you look beautiful or if someone just say oh i love you does that does that provokes your love emotion does that make you to feel loved you want somebody to say, I love you, even though the I love you has become, has become something that is generous. Some don't really mean it, but you are this kind of person that wants a man or that wants a woman to say, I love you. You want to hear you're beautiful all the time. This may be you if uh, you want someone to... If you want someone to always give you words of information, then you have to open up. Let them know that this is what makes you feel love. Okay, I have told you one, two. Then I'll tell you number three. Is this how you want to be loved? Remember, I'm talking about a love language. These, your love language determines how you want to be loved. Number three, emotional physical touch some human beings some women some men tends to feel love when they have a sense of touch for someone just touching them on the shoulders is enough to make them feel love Og, og. some people don't have anyone hugging them around them so at the slightest moment they have someone giving them that warm og it's a remarkable moment for them and they just want to have the hug all over and over, all over again. Is that you? If this is what you want, let your partner know that the feeling of touch or the hug is what makes you feel loved. Although some people may have just more than one. They may have more than one language. But there is one that is particular to you that sparks up the fire of your emotion for love. Let's go to the next one. Remember, I want to give you eight today, and I have already given you three. So let's talk about number four, and that is the intellectual. The intellectual. You are someone who adores, someone who appreciates your intellectual achievement, your ability to contribute. Your ability to contribute to important discussions, your ability to use your intuition in certain, uh, in certain situations. You are someone who likes to be appreciated for that. And also, you are someone who is drawn to people who have certain achievements in life. That is how you want to be loved. Make sure you talk to your, uh, to your partner about it. Right? So, I'll be right back. I'll give you the rest four. Remember, I've given you four, and I'm to give you eight. Then, when I'm back, stay tuned. Welcome back. Thank you for being there with me. Before we went on the break, I talked about the intellectual aspect of love language being attracted to people because of their educational achievements or because they are smart and brilliant or just because they can they are resourceful and can communicate uh, they can communicate substantially in the intellectual 
discussions. They can contribute to intellectual discussion. All right now, let's talk about number five. Number five is the physical attraction, the physique. Are you that kind of person who is attracted to the color, who is attracted to a certain shape? It be a figure eight person, a tall woman, a tall man, a tall man. You are attracted to a plump one. You are attracted to a skinny one. That's your own love language. And you want somebody to affirm that and appreciate that. That is your love language. That is how you want to be loved. Say it to your partner. Open up. Know how you, let them know how you want to be loved. And then number six is the practical love language. This is act of service. When a partner comes and does chores for you, washing plates, doing the bed, making the bed, sweeping, uh, cleaning the house, your heart is on fire. Your emotion is risen by just that kind of gesture. You are this kind of person. That is your love language. And sometimes you don't find somebody expressing themselves in this way. It doesn't mean that they don't love you. They have their own language. So you have to look for the compromise where both of you can understand each other and know what your love, love language is. And then I am in number seven. I am in number seven. And that is the financial aspect of it. The gifts. Everybody loves gifts, but there are some who are motivated more by gifts. The gift doesn't have to be something big, but well-meaning. doesn't have to be big. Some people are motivated by that. Are you this kind of person who is motivated by somebody giving you gifts? Is that your love language? Do you feel love this way? And financial also, if someone gives you uh, a substantial amount of money in your account. Do you feel love that way? Do you want to be loved? Of course, I know. Most ladies want to have money in their account. You want somebody to send the money into your account. That is general anyway, especially with the financial situation of the world now. Everybody will be motivated by financial gifts, even if they don't love the person. They just, just, you just want to have money. But you know, as a person, when somebody wires money into your account, all right, the, the spark of love is on in your head. You want to have gifts, gifts, no matter what, maybe gifts of a car, gifts of a house. Oh, somebody just identifies something the size of your shoes or the size of your clothes or even the size of your underwear. It can really uh, motivate love for some people. Then lastly, on love language, I'll be talking about commitment. Of course, everyone loves commitment in marriage. Everybody wants someone who is committed to them. If you are someone who always wants somebody to be with you, you want them to spend quality time with you, you want them to be there always for you, then that is your love language. Your love language is someone spending quality time with you. You want them to be committed with everything they have. Then that's your love language. This is how you want to be loved. Then accept. You speak out. People may not know. Although some people are lucky to just find people who just or uh, maybe coincidentally, or I've studied them to understand their love language. That's why some clever guys, they want to understand your love language. So they come with every, they try every of these steps I've, um, I have discussed earlier. They, give, they, they, they try to, to get interested in your hobbies, what to do, show you words of affirmation, then have physical touch with you, talk, uh, touch with you, then have intellectual discussions with you, 
of course, identify with your emotional feelings. Emotional feelings, whether you are feeling down, they can identify with what you are going through that time. And if it's somebody who appreciates your physique, the way you do your hairstyle and all that. And if it's also, uh, they may try to see if you are somebody who likes one to do chores for you, washing your toilet, washing your own this, all of that. <laughs> Don't expect everybody to wash your own this. It's just by the way, then uh, they try to also use the financial part they are try to use gifts to entice you and then the consistency which is also part of commitment that guy may try this out to you and somehow you find uh, yourself responding because nobody rejects um, love nobody rejects love i said earlier that the landscape of modern love is not that which is easy. It's something that is complex because of exposure and uh, exposure experience and career has changed the way people view love. People tend to get connected to for, so for certain reasons. People look for, for relationship for certain reasons, most likely maybe to get uh, a visa to get a permanent stay in a country, then to have some uh, to have some advantages, to have some advantages to connect businesses. People do a lot. People uh, connect relationship for different reasons. Unlike in the days of our fathers, where you just see someone and just see you love them. Those people don't have to work. But these days, you have to work. You have to take care of the family. So it makes it more complex. There is a kind of person the family of each spouse is looking for. Some, uh, some family are specific about the kind of per people or the kind of person they want, their, they want their children or their words to bring to the house. So when this kind of person is looking for a partner, he goes out with a purpose of looking for somebody who has these certain qualities. Someone may just be looking for a companion, not necessarily somebody who is ready to have babies. Someone just needs somebody who can complement them financially. And I think these days that is, um, that's this, the, uh, the factors that mostly dictates a relationship. People want uh, someone who can complement them financially, who can add to them, not someone who, who is who is a burden. So someone may actually have some feelings for you, but if he discovers that you are going to be a burden along the way, he may cut off when he sees someone who when he sees someone who is has a more financial advantage than you. So in conclusion, how do you how do you identify that somebody loves you? And of course, your partner may love you more than the, more than what you think, how you think they do. Most time, your partner loves you more than how you think they do. But because the way they express it is different from the way you understand love, most likely because of your previous experiences, because of your upbringing and family background, you tend to see love in a particular way. Then your partner says it's the other way. So what you should do is you should be that person who speaks out. You speak out. Let the other person know what your love language is. Let them know how you want to be loved. Let them know what motivates you. Then both of you agree. Then you, are, you can have certain compromises here and there. So the modern uh, marriage is not just what happens automatically. You have to be ready to work. Is a is a is a, is a conscious effort. You take a conscious effort to build your relationship. Build relationship. Understand the other person. The other person also understands uh, understands your feelings. Aside from that, you have to have certain other things. There are other things that make relationships work. Not just the emotion. Of course, you know the finance the kind of career uh, and uh, your beliefs, your religious beliefs and your culture also has a lot to do in uh, making your, 
your relationship grow. All right, viewers, I hope you have been able to see with me how you want to be loved. And that your partner, your feeling doesn't love you. Oof, loves you 100%, but you are not just seeing it. Hmm. You, why don't you just call them and have a discussion with them? Ask them how they want to be loved and let them know also how you want to be loved. Let me know how you want to be loved. Please drop it in the comment section. Tell me your love language and how you want to be loved. Thank you for staying tuned on this channel. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Turn on your notification button also to keep having our 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 videos as we upload them please subscribe to our channel thank you for joining may tv see you again next time thank you.